Yeah. Oof. What the fuck? I th picked the wrong faction. I'll be right back. There we go, that's what we want to see. Hello everybody, I'm Rude Devil, and welcome to a brand new mod. No, Adain has not been forsaken. No, Adain will never be forsaken. But for the sake of variety, and for the sake of changing shit up, and, you know, variety is the spice of life, or whatever that really bad saying is, we're, we're trying something else. This is the Botter mod. Unfortunate acronym aside, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm not sure how much I like it yet. Um, I think that's probably what I'm going to discover in this video. So yeah, this is the Botter mod. The Battles of the Third Age mod. I'm not really sure if that's an appropriate title. It might be... I mean, it sounds kind of cool. And it could be appropriate for what they're trying to achieve. But... I don't know. This whole game seems to be set around the Hobbit era, since it takes a lot of inspiration from the Hobbit films, so... Saying the battles of the Third Age... I don't know. Gives it a little bit too much, uh... I don't know. A li little too much, uh... Of, of an expansive timeline for, for my taste. Than, than, than what I'm seeing. But anyway. So, in this mod, they change up quite a few things. And, um, basically, I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you what I like about the mod, and what I don't like about the mod, and don't, I mean, don't, don't take this criticism personally, I'm not saying this stuff, um, as if things are going to change, or I expect things to change, or I, I expect the modders to go, oh, well, Root Devil said this, we'll just change it up. No, this is just me saying what I simply like and don't like about the mod. Um... First of all, we should actually go through the changes, so, every faction, it's, it's almost like a, a castle set up, you have this little ring around your uh, fortress, and you can essentially only build your main structures in this area. Your resource structures, however, you can build them wherever the hell you want, but there is a number to how many you can build. I can't remember the exact number it's capped out at, but uh, if you tell a builder to build a uh, mine shelf, for example, and they just don't do anything, that means you reached your limit. Um, pretty, uh, like, Hallmarks of this mod is that structures are stupidly, stupidly strong. Like, and I say stupidly in every sense of the word. You know how in a Dane mod that, unless you're attacking a base with uh, siege or if if you don't upgrade, a, if you don't attack a base without siege or without upgraded units, you're gonna be there a while. Like without fire arrows and without forge blades, you are gonna be there a while. This game said, or this mod said, fuck that, they, uh, the Adain team didn't go far enough, we're gonna make fortresses near unstoppable. There is no way, there is absolutely no way you can attack uh, bases in this game without siege. That, they are a prime, they are a prerequisite for success. Which is really strange, because that means you could just be sitting on the edge of your teammate's base, just slaughtering everything that's coming your way, because you've destroyed all of his farms. And, I mean, you're not going to win, because the fortresses are, are so strong. And that would also explain why they thought it was balanced enough to have Dwarven Stonework at 3400. Because this increases our, this, the defense of all of our fortresses and walls by 100%. 3400! Like, that's how, that's how a big, that, that's such a big deal. Uh, how strong the uh, bases are already. That, that's how much it would cost to upgrade it. That being said, there are some cool additions. Um... If you notice that the battalion sizes are a lot smaller, it does have new character models, so they're somewhat inspired from the films. If we click on it, you can see that those are clearly the Iron Hills Dwarves, um, but we're playing as Erebor, they're just taking the Iron Hills Dwarves uh, armor. Or, actually, I guess like the regular Dwarven infantry armor. We've got the lovely X-Throwers, and that's a slightly different picture. And that's actually a little minor gripe I have about with this mod. If you look, if we upgrade this, the Guardian, or the Erebor Warriors, because apparently Guardians too, apparently they have to change that. This is actually another thing about the mod, is that sometimes modders, they feel the need, I guess, to really stamp their, their own, like, or stake their own claim to what they're making, for some reason, that they, they feel the need to just change every little bit, even down to, like, character portraits. And, like, that, that really, you know, it is okay to keep things the same. It will still be your mod, it's still your name on the box. But uh, if you look, Erebor Warriors, it's a side-on view of a Dwarven Guardian. And then the Axe Throwers is a front-on view. So, unless you play this game a lot, just by- like, how does that say Axe Thrower? How is that an Axe Thrower? Do you see a- th and, like, a, like, do you see, like, someone throwing an axe in that picture? No. 
And this little stick here is supposed to tell you that that's a, a phalanx, which is really odd. I'm just, I mean, that's just a minor nitpick. It's just that it's just going to come from practice. So if you're playing a faction for the first time, you're really not going to know. Uh, it's really going to be hard for you to remember what each one does because the pictures all look the same. But as I said, that's a minor gripe. You you can just, you know, feel free to leave your feedback in the comments. I know you guys like to contest uh, contest me on all these points, and that's okay, because I, like I like to contest it back. If you look at the heroes, as I said, deeply inspired by the Hobbit films, it's called Erebor, but you don't get Gimli. You essentially get the old residents of Erebor, even though Feely and Keely were never there. Um, but you can get Thorin Oakenshield, you can get Balin, and you can get Dwalin. I actually haven't made Thorin Oakenshield in this game yet. Um, so that's actually quite exciting. I think I'll make Feely, because I didn't really like Keeley. I mean, he's pretty cool with his bow in the first movie, but I didn't really like how he didn't have a beard. And I, di I didn't like the love story he was in. That's not his character's fault, but that was really dumb. I think we can all admit that. But let's actually look at some of the new things. This is the probably the coolest thing that the dwarves get, is that they can actually make a freaking gold mine. This is cool. This is really costly, and... Oh my goodness, the dwarves must be so incredibly OP once they have their upgrades, because you're about to see just how many fucking paywalls you have to break through in order to get your upgrades. First of all, <clears throat> sorry about that. First of all, you have to make a dwarven blacksmith. Then you need to upgrade your golden, uh, sorry, your, mi your gold mine a few times. And once you've gone through all this, it costs about, what is it? To get your armor, 650 per battalion to upgrade your armor. Now, by the by, you've probably gone through about ten grand worth of resources. So, I I would like to think because I actually haven't done it. I would like to think that these dwarves are near invincible once they do it, because otherwise it wouldn't be balanced. Um, so as you can see, we have smaller battalions. Heroes are supposed to be more. What the hell, Mordor? You can go straight to hell. Heroes are supposed to be um stronger. They do have quite a bit of health. I mean, Feely's only 900, he's got 2800 health. Remember when that was a rarity? Remember when you made King Dane for 2500 and his health was like 3000 level 1? That was a big deal. Like, I'm pretty sure it was Varmir and then just the Dwarven Heroes. Actually, I guess maybe Elrond as well would have high health. Um, but yeah, that, that, that that's a hallmark. The Heroes are supposed to be like the main part of it because the battalions are so much smaller. Also, the people who made this mod, they must adore archers. They, they must actually do archer in real life. And that's not that's not like I'm having a go at them. That's just an observation I've, I've made. Because archers in this game will just level your armies. Which seems kind of cool. And maybe, maybe, maybe makes sense. But I'm just letting you know. If, if, if you're up against Gondor archers and you've got maybe three battalions, the Gondor archer could probably take you out. It's really funny seeing all your units drop to archers. Um... Let me see, we get Ravens of Erebor, so we can actually increase our vision. So essentially like our very own, um, uh, Krebine that Isengard get. I do like that because, um, ooh, the archers seem a little aggro. I do like that because in a Dane, you have to, like, I remember the Krebine that you can make from your forces. You have to manually, like, micro all across the map and they can die really easily. It's just, it's just cool having a straight up upgrade to your fortress. Alright, so if we look, this thing is beautiful. Um, once we upgrade it, you'll see, like, gold veins running through it. It's actually really nice. So basically, we need to upgrade it for a thousand. And we get lots of different upgrades each time we upgrade this main thing. Um, it doesn't actually... Precious gems, dwarven machinery. I think that one. So the third upgrade, which means you need to upgrade your dwarven mine... Uh, your gold mine three times, allows you to get the demolisher. Now, we've already concluded that this game, you can't really do much without siege. So that's a pretty big deal that they have, you have to go through all that just to get your siege. Um, other factions don't have to go nearly as much trouble. Ah, uh, no, that's beautiful. Look at those gold veins. That's really nice. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I could be dead wrong, but it just seems really difficult to balance all this. Because there are so many costly paywalls you have to break through to one, get your upgrades, and then even get your, your, your siege. Um, on the pr on the plus side, um, while upgrading uh, your Hall of Warriors isn't the cheapest, your uh, infantry actually make pretty quickly. So that's kind of cool. I'm just sort of sitting around in my base. We will get into the action sooner or later. Feely, uh, you can toggle your weapon, although that doesn't seem to actually do anything. Let's actually have a good look at the character model here. That's not too bad. A little tall for a dwarf, but makes sense, I guess. If we toggle the weapon, nothing actually happens. 
Um, if Feely and Killy are on the field, they get a huge damage and armor boost. You'll notice that they're actually quite liberal with their damage and armor boost. Uh, in the Adain mod, they seem a little hesitant to grant increased damage. Uh, for instance, Elven Wood giving you an armor boost and things like that. Um, they seem to be more focused on fear resistance, whereas in this game, it's like, fuck it, let's just, let's just have armies collide and crash. And that's something that's really cool. Um, Axe Volley, it's sort of like, um, it's sort of like that arrow wind ability that Legolas gets. Um, but you get it at level 2, because that's really cool. The hell? Oh, bloody hell, that's actually one really good aspect of the elves. Um, is that when they make their melon trees, they automatically get a defender on it. And it's a defender with Silverthorn. So now we'll actually now we'll actually get to see just how strong. Let's make a battle wagon. I always like battle wagons. Now we'll actually get to see just how strong this dwarven inventory is against a um look at him hightailing out of there. Maybe we can intercept him. We'll get to see just how good our dwarven units are against the structure. But yeah, it seems that there is a huge emphasis on just regular inventory combat and trying to make the games last as long as possible. There is actually a time at the top of the screen, which is kind of helpful for me for when I'm recording, but I don't know why else you would need that. Look at that. They're actually doing some work on that thing. So resource structures go down, but if we were to attack a fortress, yeah, just, just prepare yourself for your entire army to be decimated. Um... What else can we get? We can get um, the Arkenstone, which is actually a really cool upgrade. Allows Thorin to become King of Erebor. Dwarven heroes gain minus 10% power recharge time. So, just making Dwarven heroes stronger, which is really cool. Um, let's upgrade our mine again. This is actually my favorite building that they put in, because look how beautiful that is. It's got the uh, like the gold, um, the greeny gold tint that you saw at the beginning of the film in Erebor. Around there, and then it's got the gold veins, it's really cool. So, enables Dwarven armor and Forge blade upgrades. There you go, we've done it. So that will take a freaking light year to make. Uh, let's go ahead and make our forge. This is a really ugly building. You know my feelings on Anglar just because their buildings are really big and sort of out of place. That That's just, that's sort of on the same. The battle wagon does have goats, and it's actually a different kind of goat. I kind of like, I kind of prefer this one. The fur looks a little odd, but it's actually pretty good. I'm actually really impressed with that. So, as long as you keep making Hall of Warriors, and uh, if you're aggressive with your mineshaft placement, you can be a real annoying Dwarven player. A real annoying Dwarven player. Um, but if you want success in this game, you probably want to um, micromanage your archers really well. Just, just hit and run, hit and run, hit and run, because you can decimate entire entire freaking battalions. Uh, I will go through the powers in a sec because there are some really cool additions. Um, but first, Battle Wagon, you always lead the line. I love it. Yeah, just stay there. Come on, Vele. Vele. Nah, he got stabbed and then dropped off her freaking mountain. Poor guy. Alright, so what, what other abilities does he get? He gets Taunt. Enemies are debuffed, lose 20% armor. Um, this is, uh, requires Arkansas upgrade. Okay, so he gets an armor bonus from the Arkansas upgrade, so that's pretty good. And at level 10, Feely gains 25% damage and speed. Holy god. I don't really know where they got that, because he doesn't actually do that much, but... I guess he is, uh, an heir to the, uh, throne of Durin's folk, so... That could be where you got it. Look how weird that building is. Alright, so we can get Banner Carriers for 1100, Forge Blades for 1700, and Dwarven Armor a whopping 2400. That's amazing. Does the gold mine... I don't think the gold mine passively generates resources. Oh yeah, there's that bug. There's a, there's a final upgrade called Wealth of the Lonely Mountain where you can just spawn gold. And it's blacked out, but if you click on it, it'll spawn it anyway. I don't know if the picture's not supposed to be blacked out, or if you actually are supposed to just keep upgrading it. Either way, we got ourselves some nice monies. Uh, so weapon fashioning has already been upgraded, so after this is done upgrading, we can start work on our uh, forge blades and our dwarven armor. Um, but it is ridiculously expensive, so I'm hoping these guys are huge powerhouses. I am going to get... Ooh! Actually, you know let's get the Arkenstone, because I don't think I've ever actually upgraded that. Dwarven Stonework would just be the ultimate just dick move. The ultimate dick move. Um, we're just gonna send our half sort of scrambled together army. And, uh, we're just gonna see what damage we can do while we're upgrading shit. Um, because the battalions are so small, they actually don't use up that many command points. So, as I said, 
you can really exploit the cheapness of the Dwarven units to really do some damage. Um, I can't, actually, what's, what's really cool about this mod is that it, you actually get to play as the goblins. You actually get to play as the goblins. And as someone who's waited for goblins in a Dane 4.0 for so long, it's so much fun to just embrace the uh, goblin spam. I will be doing faction overview videos for each of the uh, factions in the bottom mod. Um, I think the next one will be just the goblins, just so I can show off their sheer spam. Um, but no, just currently, my biggest gripe is just how strong the, uh, Battles of the Third Ages mod are. There's probably, uh, very, 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 uh, precise build orders that you can put in, uh, so that you can get your siege out quickly and then try and just, uh, holy shit, that's some wicked tainted land there you got. So you can essentially just overwhelm the enemy as quickly as possible. But, uh, we won't be getting that anytime soon. Um... I didn't actually want to- holy shit, now that is impressive. That is really cool. It's sort of just sticking out of the fortress, but eh, come on. Who's gonna nitpick that? It looks awesome. Um, requires Durin's folk. Is that a power? It is, okay. So let's have a look at our powers quickly. We got Baruch Hazard, and that's just an awesome... I actually think when you use it, they take the um, the audio file from Lord of the Rings Online when you play as a dwarf, and he goes, Baruch Hazard! Hazard, I met her! Uh, allied units, ground resistant to knockback, and gain 50% damage. Uh, we have Rebuild, which fully heals structures. That is just insane. Like, Dwarven Stonework plus that? Oh, man. I think people would just... I, think I would just leave if people did that to me. Uh, we have Summon Men of Dale Allies, Durance Folk. Heroes gain um, increased health and experience and unlocks the Arkansas upgrade in the Fortress. So does that mean that... Oh, wait, no. We already know what upgrade that unlocks. Um, the Earth Hammer. We need to see that because that's the thing that Gloin uses at Fornos, which is freaking amazing. Durin the Deathless, Dwarven Citadel. Light of Durin's Day. Gives you speed and double vision. Doesn't actually improve, like, your damage and armor, which is kind of strange. Undermine. Dwarven Riches. Uh, Dwarven Remedy, which is a heal. And then Lone Tower. So I think we're going to just go Haz uh, Baruch Hazard, Durin's Folk, Earth Hammer, and then I think we'll actually just go this way. I don't think we'll get Durin the Deathless. But, um, as you can see, the powers, like, 27, 28, some of them, I think on the goblins, or it might be Mordor, whoever gets the Balrog, I think he's, like, 32 points or 35 points, so they have tried to balance it. Oh, hello, elves, he's made Galathrum. Baruch Hazard! That looks fucking cool. They've used some of their own animations, like, they just created them from scratch, it does look really cool. Like, those are actually really cool. I was kind of hard on the portraits on the on the unit pictures because I'm not really a fan of that. But when they when they put in buffs and things like that, and they kind of create like their own. The hell a kite just fell out of that. That's weird. <laughs> I still like it though. That's funny. So yeah, we're just playing a free for all against a uh, mortar on the floor, and I probably should mention that at the beginning. But brr, 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 brr. okay, dwarven structure. We're gonna give you forge blades. How much are you? 3,700. We're going to cancel those Forge Blades. We're getting Thorin. Because we haven't made Thorin yet. Um, so we could just send in this army to die. And they will die against a Mordor Fortress. Look how quickly that thing fires. It's got the health. It's probably got about 30,000 hit points. And it fires arrows ridiculously fast. So these guys should all actually die. Which would actually be really funny to see. I think we might just sit back. I kind of just want to watch them die. How much damage? Actually, they've done a little bit of damage, more than I thought. I wonder how many elves have crashed and died to do that. You know, we're gonna, we're just gonna help. Dwarves and elves are going to fight side by side. It's so beautiful. No, just kidding. We're gonna do axe throw. They should all stop dropping. Actually, I guess Galathrum are like the considered the elite infantry. So I said we'd help. I just did the attack order. Now we're just gonna play the waiting game. Really? They had a King Dane quote for Thor and Open Shield? Are you serious? Alright, that's good enough for me. So level 1, King in Exile. Dwarven units near Thorin gain 60% damage and 10% speed. He's actually the king at this point. He doesn't look like the king. Oh, we- okay. Sorry, we need the Arkenstone upgrade. We need the power first, then we can make him the king. Oh, shit. Don't be a hero, Feely! Remember last time? Azog was really defiling to you. He defiled you right in your defoiler. Thank you very much. Alright, let's pull back. Let's pull back. Let's review these uh, nice abilities that Thorin has. 
Uh, King and Exile. Uh, dwarven units near him get 60% damage. Man, that's a really good buff right off the bat. Allied battalions gain 500% experience. What? 500% experience? Are you having a laugh? That is crazy. Okay, we're getting some upgrades now. Uh, we don't need that. Upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, fuck it, we're actually just going to make some nice units. I wonder if it's worth... Holy shit, we're out. That was fast. I wonder if it's worth b destroying one of our mine shafts and then just building it here. They're capping one of these buildings. Are they capping a dock? They're capping a dock. Okay. All right, let's have a look at your other abilities. Uh, Thorin gains double damage, so he's got a passive damage boost. He's got a, an experience boost for everyone around him, so just just like all great kings. He's got double damage on himself. And then Dubeka, which is a great name. A great name, Dubeka. Um, which if we freaking check what that does. Actually, did you get the upgrade? Requires Arkansas ability. Okay, so you need to get the you need to get that huge dwarven statue, and then you need to get the power, and then you need to actually research the upgrade. Oh my goodness, it's like it's like it's like we're in politics. Everything takes two steps. Fuck me. Alright, this final power. Dwarven units gain 50% damage and knockback resistance and causes meta impact. Oh yes, who is that? Oh, my master, my master Sauron the Great bids thee welcome. Was there ever addressed why he's actually called the mouth of Sauron? Because I thought Sauron was supposed to mean abominable. And it's, and Sauron himself said that word wasn't supposed to be used. But yeah, he's called the mouth of Sauron. Like, it, that's always brought up, but never really addressed, is it? I'm, I'm kind of confused. Alright, how long does it take to upgrade that? Mine shops produce 15% more resources. Thank you very much. Has it been cancelled? Nobody told us. Is that Thranduil? No, that's Celeborn. When these elves are in their pajamas, they all look the same. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, Caliborn, this way. You're the Lord of Lorien, but you're not too bright. That is cool. That's a nice power-up. For some reason, they wouldn't move past him, so I thought I'd just engage him directly. Yeah, so as I said, archers in this game can le- Feely just got killed by an arrow. That was kind of cute. Um, so in this game, as I said- Archers are really useful, so if you're playing as the elves, you just get the best archers in the game. You're really in for a world of hurt. And actually, you need to be careful about what you upgrade then, because... You don't want to put all your money, especially dwarven upgrades are so expensive, you don't want to put all your money into... Um, upgrading battalion and then just have them, have them getting mowed down by Galathrum. Yeah. Oh, this... Oh, this 500%... Okay, so that deserved honor only works on a single battalion. Okay. Alright, that's not the same. I made Keely accidentally instead of Feely. I'm Rude Devil and how do I biff me? Okay. Come on, we want Dubekar! I want meta impact! We want meta impact! I think we're actually going to lose this fight. I think we're actually outnumbered. We might need to get the king out of here. He's already left. Fuck it, Dubekar! Run away! Let's just keep spamming out these guys. We're gonna keep sending them in, we're gonna keep sending them in. Our level 3 units are Erebor Guardians. We might actually... You know what, we'll do that, why not? We had the Forge Blades! Um, we're gonna upgrade this again, can we click this? Nope, doesn't give us any more wealth, you die bastard wealth of the Lonely Mountain. What the hell's going on here? Where's our army gone? Where the shit is our army gone? We have... What the shit, Galathrim? Give me a break! Holy god! We shouldn't have taken out Mordor! They were effective shield against the might of the elves! That is absolutely insane! Why are we in the Grey Havens? That is ridiculous. Our entire army just got leveled. We had a few battalions left, some of them with banner carriers after all. Fucking Galathrim and your elite units! It's funny because, uh, because the battalions are so small and they can actually be killed relatively quickly, or quicker than in other iterations of Bithme. <laughs> once you get the Galathrum upgrade for the elves, because you do have to jump through some hoops to do it, but once you actually get there, they're pretty cheap actually. They're not that expensive. I want to just. I want to. Um, we'll get uh, Feely back. I want to replenish the ranks before we research heavy armor. Although I have a feeling once we do that, we'll be really good. 
Oh, finally we can get Durin's folk. Ah, I want to get that Earth Hammer. I want to just blow the shit out of their base. Fuck, Galathrim are on our doorstep. Sound the charge. That will never get old. That's amazing. So, judge it for yourself what you think of the mod. It does do things new. It does put in some factions and does... It does, it does give you a lot of variety, and it does put in a lot of cool additions that the Adain mod I, hasn't really got around to yet, or for the sake of balancing, hasn't put in. Um, you kind of know what I mean. There, there is like a notable difference between 3.8 and 4.0 in the really epicness of the things that you can do. Like, I'm not sure if it will let you spawn an Earth Hammer, but that's, that's pretty damn, pretty damn baller. Um, this is upgrading, thankfully. These phalanx. Strong versus elite cavalry and monsters. Okay. Holy shit, we're actually in trouble. The elves are just charging us relentlessly. What did I do to annoy you? We helped you to destroy Mordor. Dwarven machinery. The, full, the final upgrade allows you to get siege hammers and the demolisher upgrade. So, it seems that there is a huge emphasis on not letting your building fall. Uh, your fortress fall at the end. And we're going to test that right now because we're going to make some nice little arrow towers. And we're going to see how long it takes this stupid elf to just charge me. You're going to have to bring ends if you want to take me down. Your heroes seem to level up pretty quickly. I think that's what they mean by they're, they're stronger. Because um, we haven't actually, like... We actually haven't done much, but uh, Feely leveled up quite a lot. All we've done with Thorin is retreat and he's level 4. That deserved honor. If we can just put it on a battalion that doesn't die, we can get them to level 5 so quickly. Is our battle wagon still alive? No. Battle wagon is just a general annoyance. They're too... They're, they're too important to ignore. But if... if Like, if... If you don't ignore them, and then the rest of, the rest of your army is just going to take them out. Maybe we should actually just form a line. Hit... Stand... Have our heroes move around, obviously. And we'll just use the buff from the heroic statues to really just annoy them. Uh, just annoy them. Alright. Um, we did research forge blades, right? Why can't we... Yeah, research forge blades. Does a battalion have to be level... Does a battalion have to be... Oh, what the hell? What the hell are you doing, you stupid dwarf? Battle wagon. Yeah, right, I gotta watch the health bar on my. Uh, this is really cool. We just got elves crashing against the might of our dwarves. They haven't even got to our fortress yet. All right, finally the Arkenstone. This will enable him to become the uh, king of Erebor. Another bonus you can get, which I don't know how to get. Someone's Dane Ironfoot and his dwarves. So that's actually really cool. Let's get banner carriers. We actually can upgrade this again. That cost a lot, but fuck it. We can get demolishers now! We can see if they're shit. You can only get two demolishers. What is it? Oh god. You can only get two demolishers? What's up with that? What's up with that? I wanted shit. Okay, so we've upgraded Forge Blades, but we can't actually put them on our thing. I'm guessing they have to be level two. And if and if they don't do it off the level two, then really I don't know what's going on. Where do I go with these? We're supposed to be looking out for the ponies. Alright, so he can switch weapon, which does work. I just think the switch weapon isn't supposed to be there on Feely. Where the hell are they going? Ooh, look at the gold veins on the level 3 mine shaft. I like that. Ooh, he's the king now. Now that is cool. His his cape is shining, is shimmering gold. I like that a lot. That is really cool. Why wouldn't you use Orcrist? Um, faster attack speed, but no radius. Uh, okay. I would have thought it does bonus damage to Orcs, but that might be a little broken. They, th I think they capped that. I think they capped that. Um, that docks. We don't want them to just spawn boats behind us. Do you like my freaking twiddly widdlies? I mean, they're not. They're, they're battle wagons, but still. Ooh, the Erebor Guardians. Let's give them level two. Let's give them the deserved honor. Uh, King of Erebor, Dwarven units get in the 30% damage in armor. King of Erebor gains 50% armor passive. Does this mean Keeley? Oh, sorry, yeah, Feely has his. Or he has his armor. 
Is there a notable difference? Oh, he does look pretty bad. He looks a bit like Aragorn, actually. Oh my goodness, elves. Hold on, we're doing a full retreat. I'm not ready yet. I would, I'm would. i looking through abilities while the entire Dwarven line is just being destroyed. <laughs> All right, now charge back in. Go! Charge them! You guys remember Total War? Units await my orders. Best quote in the game. All right, where are our Dwarven? Where is our... Oh! Deserved Honor is now an AoE. That's a nice, that's a nifty upgrade. That's a really nifty upgrade. Alright, those are producing way too slowly. We're gonna get we're gonna get some more Hall of Warriors up in here. We'll take care of it. There we go. Oh man. Freaking elves. It is actually just fun seeing these two armies clash. Because my guys are pretty I mean, with my heroes, we've definitely got the edge. I think that's the reason why we've managed to last so long. Oh, shit. I don't know where he is. There he is. Oh, yes, I healed him in time. Oh, my goodness. How are you supposed to kill dwarven heroes at this point in the game? And if I was to get uh, dwarven stonework and then rebuild, how will we ever lose? Unless they attack with a gajillion ends, which, given the nature of ends, I don't think would happen, given how slow they are. What's your level 10? Do Bekar. Dwarven units gain invulnerability. What? I kind of missed the meta impact, but still. Ooh, Goblin Cleaver. Uh, Thorin swings his elven sword, dealing magic damage in a small radius. You know what? He gets some cool abilities. They kind of like... What the hell are they doing? They're going for the docks, aren't they? Okay, so these guys, charge attack. That is, causes meta impact. Look at that picture. I don't know if you can see that, but essentially it's a real close-up of a dwarf just screaming, and it looks amazing. They're just, they're capping docks, but they're dying in the process. The hell? Who is that? Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Who, who was that just then? I need to know who that was. All right, let's do this charge attack. There you go. If you don't know what it means by meta impact, just think uh, the, the Witch King's basic attack, and that should give you a pretty good idea. I know we're not really gaining any ground at the moment. In fact, we're dying a lot. We're losing a lot of units. Do we have any level two units? Uh... Ah, for goodness sake. I love this little guy just sort of hammering the half. Like, God, every day I work repairing this shit. I'm assuming that there's a boat that keeps going in and killing my battalions. I'm assuming that's why I haven't taken it back yet. Okay, so we have level two. I don't know how to give them their upgrades. It's not really... It's not really doing it. Um, we can call in Dane. Honestly, shit, we're out of money. Okay, so the the AI is just set. Oh my god, <laughs> we're gonna be here all day, aren't we? And it's gonna be a while before they can actually kill us. So this is actually just kind of funny to watch. We can't use things level 10. I don't know why. Can't use his level 10. Healing and freely gain faster auto heal and the special abilities recharge. Alright, fuck it, we'll just use that. Where are you, Keely? There you are. Oh, he looks different as well. Looks kind of dorky, but still. So it seems that once you get the Arkenstone, once you jump through all those hoops, you actually finally get it. Those dwarves. Uh, all look the way they do when they find the armory in Erebor, and they just, you know, pimp themselves out in the greatest armor in Middle Earth. Where's that battle wagon? There he is. I don't think these things can catch docks, but you never know. Alright, let's call in Dane. I'm hoping this isn't a... Is that the tattoo on his freaking head? Yay! 
They're not a uh, temporary summon. They're perma summon. Yes. He's got the red axe as he should. That's a really cool character model, and that's a better portrait than the Dane team. That's a really cool looking Dane. Okay, you know what? We've got four Hall of Warriors. Ba, Rook, Ha, uh, Zard. We're just gonna push now. I think we'd be able to do this if, you know, I could, you know, give my guys their upgrades, but doesn't seem that's the case. Is that Legolas there? I have a feeling only Legolas would be able to be doing that sort of damage. Come on. We're almost level 10. We can give our dwarves invincibility. Then where are they gonna go? Fuck you, that's where they're gonna go. Alright, so just keep pushing. Dane, level 1, Red Axe, deals 20% more damage to a single orc and goblin heroes. That's pretty cool. Uh, Lord of the Iron Hills, uh, level 1, dwarven units near, Gain near Dane get 100% armor and 50% speed. Level 5, they get total fear resistance. Level 10, summon several battalions of spearmen. It would be cool if he had like a headbutt move. That'd be freaking sweet if he had a headbutt move. That, that would really be cool. Oh my god, we're gonna be here all fucking day? Remember, these guys are coming straight from their base. These guys are coming straight from their base because you can't build your structures outside. Um, there are some factions that are able to do that. But uh, not the elves. I mean, they can build their end mate outside, I'm pretty sure. Level 6, you can grant experience to units. That's really useful. Okay. Damn it, the battle wagon can't cap it. You know what? Fuck it. Everyone charge. Go, go, go. Alright, so we can finally use our earth hammer now. Which I'm hoping doesn't get destroyed. This is probably one of the most creative things I've seen. Like, to actually spawn this thing, that's really cool. It's probably got a really long uh, recharge time, just like the earth shakers that you can get in uh, a Dane. Creates earthquake and medium radius, causing good damage against buildings. That's nice. Good damage is what you want. I mean, some, that ability seems to have recharged already, okay. Uh, we've almost got Dwarven Stonework. I guess we can get Siege Kegs just to frustrate AI even more. Alright, so now we're just going to go on a full push. I think maybe... A thousand for fucking demolishers. These things better not die. They better not cry. And I'm telling you why. Rude Devil's coming to town. And he's screaming. I love that. Like, I didn't really like Lord of the Rings Online, but oh my goodness, that's so cool. Hey, is that Orifin? It's Rumel, I always get those two confused. I have exactly a 50% chance of getting it fucking right, and I always get it wrong. Alright, so we're at 12 points. Uh, 27 points. I think I was said I was going to get Dwarven Riches. Undermine might be worth a shout. No, I think we'll go for Durin the Deathless. He can just tank the freaking enemy fortress for us. So, you can make your... I, I, I feel like this mod is real. That is an excellent animation. That is an excellent animation for Dane. That's a Beyonding, I think. The way he's doing that vertical slice on his axe. That is great. There's actually a lot to be admired about this mod. The, the units themselves, the, the textures on the units themselves look really cool. And I do like the fast paced nature of the mod. I do like how quickly you can get out your infantry. It just seems like we're 38 minutes in. It just seems that there is such a huge... There's just so many obstacles in your way to finishing off an opponent because Siege... Uh, you can't take down a fortress without Siege. Oh, Feely's fallen. Probably should have... Probably should have seen that coming. But, um... No, I think there's a lot to be... A lot to be enjoyed from this mod. A lot of cool, interesting powers. And freaking... Look at Dane's axe swing and animation. That is so perfect. Alright, we're gonna replenish the ranks. Basically, I'm not setting waypoints for these, because this game actually runs really well, uh, considering the amount of units on screen. Um, I'm not setting a waypoint just because I'm hitting Q periodically to select all my units. Um, I'm pretty pretty much pressing it every couple seconds, so as soon as they're spawned, they'll be heading to the front. On a map like this, you can't really divide your forces up and attack from other sides, because I hate naval combat, so yeah. It's just, we're just going to charge in one big swoop. You know what? We get Dubai Car, but I'm going to save that for the base. Grant's experience. Everyone's about to level up. No, they just all moved out of it. 
Oh my goodness, they went up two levels. Are you for fucking real? Could you imagine if we had... We've researched them. I don't get why we can't get the upgrades. Does anybody know what what that's about? I like how you can give him Orcris, though. That's a real good touch. I like that. I like that a lot. A lot of effort's got into this. Alright. Just wait until we get to the fucking base. Earthshaker the shit out of your base. We're going so slowly because... Oh, these elves just will not stop. We are killing them very quickly, fortunately. I feel like we should just upgrade banner carriers at this point. Elves are doing fancy backflips. It's got the Dwarven runes over their heads so that you know that the um, Baruchas are still going. See, there are, they have, there are some really clever things they put in. It's just things like that. I'm really impressed with the powers. They look really nice. Uh, the effects on them are really good. The textures on the units are really cool. Uh, the fact that you can get out infantry so quickly is sort of a fast-paced game, more enjoyable. If you really like clashing armies like this, then yeah, you're in for... I just think the whole... In the long term, I think this this game sort of suffers. But yeah, you saw how many hoops we had to jump through. 3400 for Dwarven Stonework, we had to get the, the gold mine and upgrade that twice, or actually just once, and then we had to get the forge. And then we had to get the Ark and Stone, and then we had to get the, the the power, and then we had to get that. It's just, it's just the whole thing. Maybe it's supposed to represent just how difficult a dwarves' journey is, that they have to do so much just to reclaim their homeland, and they they endure such hardships. That could be it. That could be like a deep-seated meaning of it. Who knows? Um. So yeah. It's, it's almost like a castle gameplay because you can only build your buildings uh, within a certain radius of your fortress, but it still grants you a little bit more freedom in the sense that we built four freaking Hall of Warriors and we're spamming out troops. So there's still that crazy aspect to it, which I sort of miss from the uh, older Dane mod. Alright, we're at 835. That needs to be rectified. So with, with Dwarven Stonework, with Dwarven Stonework, it sort of coats your thing in gold. It's got gold veins all over it, as if the fortress itself is a mountain. That's really cool, I like that effect. Um, so yeah, anyway, the uh, other factions in this game, you've got Gondor, Lothlorien, this is still in beta by the way. Uh, Gondor, Lothlorien, um, Angmar, Mordor, Isengard, and then the Misty Mountains. Um, which there are, there are some notable bugs with the Misty Mountains, and there are uh, some little issues, and the game likes to crash, but... Um, I'm still going to show you them next time, just because if you really enjoyed the CGI goblins from the first Hobbit movie, as in down in the deep of Goblin Town, if you really enjoyed the Goblin Town segment from that movie, then you're really going to enjoy the Goblin Faction. It's actually going to be really cool to show it to you. I wonder if we could spawn an additional Earth Hammer. That'd be really interesting. All right, level nine, Axe Master gains 25% speed and double damage. So Dane can Dane's an army killer. He's got this red aura around him. Let's give these bastards a good hammering. And as you can see, they actually gave him decent quotes. Sorry, Dane, you did kind of butcher Dane. Um, sorry, Edine, you did kind of butcher Dane. He's just knocking over all the units. That's amazing. Who called for some guardians? I feel like I might have the sound a little off on this mod. I think I have the sound effects a little too high. Because you can't really hear the quotes on the uh, units. All you can hear are the axe swinging. I'll, have, I'll fix that for the next video. I'm sorry. Because I know people love to hear, Let's get in there and shit like that. Alright, during the Deathless, that's a pretty awesome image. Dane's just charged ahead. Where are these, um... Ah, there they are. Comes with Mithril Mail, awesome. They won't soon forget this thing. This has been a a huge trek, a huge trek to the Elven base. But their waves are dwindling, their numbers are are dwindling, the waves are slowing down. Resistance is lightening up. I think we've kind of broken the back. We still have Dubair Car. What was that move called? Axe Master? Okay. Uh, can we do the... No, we can't. Why are they charging past us? That's sort of weird. 
No, they're not going for that. Okay, good. We're supposed to be looking after the ponies. We get it. Fucking Kaylee, shut up. Feely's been dead a long time. That's a cool quote. I don't know if you guys heard that. I'll have to adjust the sound, but he said, Demolish our set for battle. Oh, that deserved honor has a long cooldown. Alright. Given the fucking hoops, given that we can only have two of these, given that they cost 1,000, given that it's the f third upgrade on the gold mine, this should one hit it. Uh, well, it is a level 3 melon tree, so actually, you know what? If that was level 1, that'd probably be gone by now, so I can forgive it. I'll forgive it. This army isn't slowing down for nobody! <gasps> that is the best power in this game. Baruch Hazan! Hazan I'm Manu! You know, before this video, I sort of found myself leading towards disliking the mod more than liking it. But you know what? From playing this map, um, at least this video, I've come to actually like a lot more about it. I don't know exactly why I can't get uh, heavy armor, because I kind of wanted to see that. Ah, oh, the charge didn't really work. Oh, sort of did. Look how many dwarves. we got so many axe throwers. Oh, no. That is stupid. That is fucking stupid. Because you could see I sent my demolisher up there. And he's fucking dead. My god. Damn it all. My Govanen. Shit me. How can you have it die so quickly? Nobody told us. Oh, I don't think we're going to take it down now. I made a second demolisher. I don't know where it is. Where is it? Demolisher. I don't know where the I don't know where the other demolisher is, but I'm hoping it's somewhere near. Okay. Earth Hammer time, baby. Earth Hammer. Earth Hammer. You have to say like that because it's so cool. All right, let's see how much damage this is. That's supposedly good damage. That's not even a fifth of its health. That's good damage. What are you talking about? You know what? That's it. Spawn some freaking spearmen. To the king. Now that is a fucking great card. That is so good. That is so freaking good. The name of the move is Dubeka. When you do it, it has the charge of Durin's folk. And they go Dubeka. Oh shit. Alright, time to get Durin the Deathless. That's a cool, that's a, oh that's brilliant, I love that. Because he's the head of the Seven Dwarf. You're shitting me. And he's the voice of Gimli. I'm sold. Best mod ever. Freaking hell. During the death, this comes back to life in the coolest way ever. He's got the uh, star above his head, signifying he's the greatest of the Dwarf Lords. The first to awaken. Um, and then he has Gimli's quotes. Uh, units around Durin get slightly healed. Creates a small earth shank that knocks back enemy units. So we get faster attack speed, faster experience, or more experience, better damage. That's amazing. So he just buffs you in every single way possible. I don't think Keely got the memo though. We're losing a lot of units here, but oh my goodness. Okay, so it was a treehouse, but it just looks like a regular thing now. Let's give these bastards a good hammering. Yeah, I think that earth hammer kind of needs to be buffed a little bit. Look at our army. This is why it's so fucking difficult. Shit in heaven. Like, fucking hell. Alright, we need to... We're actually running out of rein... We... Oh. See, see how crazy it is? See how fucking crazy it is? You didn't believe me, did you? You thought I was crazy. There's the demolisher. Go! Just sitting there taking damage like an idiot. It's 
they, this sort of signifies everything I don't like about the mod. Why would you make him so stupidly powerful? Even, oh, Durin's dying too. Look, this demolisher doesn't even do damage. Do you know how many things I had to upgrade to get you? And you don't even fucking do damage. I don't even think we finished off the final builder. That's a sad bit. This is the armory. I get that it's an important structure, but you can't play favorites like that. It doesn't work. Oh my goodness. So we didn't kill his final builder. Our entire army fucking died. Because the fortress just loves to do damage. We kinda need... Hmm. You know what, we're just gonna try and hold the line, wait for the rest of the army to show up, so we're gonna do this. And this. Hey, we have Bob the Bowman. He gets Black Arrow, does uh, severe damage against dragons. Okay. I think Dubek Car is almost back. That seems a little broken. Okay, so basically we just got our two heroes holding the line. Oh man, all those dwarves just fell to their death, all because... Actually, I, in my... in the mod's defense, I did sort of forget about... Uh, the demolisher, the second demolisher I called in. If we had turned that in as well... But even then, do you know how many hits it was, it was taking to destroy that fucking... Uh, to destroy that Lorian armor. It didn't even do it. It's straight. It's stupid. And I'm pretty sure by the time we get back there, the fortress is gonna be up. Oh man, I hate to get soldier on you guys, but that's just how I feel. No, destroy that freaking melon tree. That's doing damage to you. Men of Dale lost a long time. That's pretty good for a tier 2 power. I just out of this. Dwellin, what's your level 10? Disables target building, that's pretty good. What about you, Balin? Healing, okay. This would probably would have been done by now. We still have that gold just sitting there, that's pretty. I'm gonna spawn some more. Yay! But we can't even give our troops the upgrades. I don't know what's going on. Nothing can stand up to this. What are you saying? Filthy Spearman from the south? I don't know. From the hills, he says, but I said from the south. Um. Alright, we're gonna go in. I wish we could get vision somehow. Uh, Undermine would be really useful. Oh, and I killed my own Demolisher with it? God bless this game. Greatest game ever. Takes it a lifetime. We can only make two Demolishers in a row. They don't even do damage and they die quickly. That's fucking great. Hey, the Siege Hammers are ready. It's a shame, but I don't know how to give them the upgrade. Maybe there is something that we missed. I'm like constantly looking at the front line. Maybe I did miss something. Maybe there's an upgrade. Hey, Lone Tower's back already? That's pretty nice. I like that. That's a good addition. I like that. Reinforcements have arrived in the form of bearded men from the south. Stop saying from the south. Oh, this might come back up. Alright. Uh, army's been replenished. Can we summon these Iron Hills Spearmen? No. Dragon Smaug has not been seen for 60 years. Alright, so by far the most impressive thing about this was the Do Bear car, that whole speech. That was the best thing. Alright. Oh, it does recharge quickly, so... Okay, you can only make one, though. You can only make one. Okay. 
the power itself recharges quickly. That's what I was getting at. Hey, that's not a fortress. He didn't remake it during the Deathless. That is such a good animation. They've trounced the Dane team with that. In the Dane team, he pops out of he pops out of rock, so that's pretty accurate because he kind of just he was just born out of the stone uh, when he first awoke in Middle Earth. But that 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 sort of rebirth animation just then is so cool, so cool. Let's give these bastards a good hammering. There we go. All right. Now let's just wreck everyone. Come on. What is that? I don't even know what these buildings are. I think they're all elven barracks. That would sort of explain why he's been able to uh, produce units so quickly. All right, that's it. Oh my God. How is that? That's too damn good. Oh man, I'm gonna get done for copyright for that. I can see it now. That's the bad thing about it, because that was really loud, but oh man. That was sorta of worth it. That was so cool. Okay, so after 56 minutes, we've finally broken through, and it's only taken about a gajillion dwarves to do it. All you need to do is make Siege a little better. Unless they're thinking that the emphasis on infantry combat, you can easily get overwhelmed, and all you need is Siege then to completely finish them off. I don't know. It just seems strange that they would make the fortresses so strong that they can just decimate entire armies. Victory! <laughs> with, do with Danes chanting to the king. How perfect. Alright, let's check how many dwarves died. That's, well, that's what I care about right now. Oh, I guess the battalions are small, so in regular Biff me, that'd be about 3,000. We killed a thousand of them. Anyway, that was my first check at the bottom, the Battles of the Third Age mod. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll be doing more faction overviews. Next up, the Misty Mountains. Oh my god. I'm Red Devil. Thanks so very much for watching. Goodbye.